A long way from the tropics, and yet wild parrots can be spotted in neighborhoods all over the valley. Rosy-faced lovebirds, they've been spreading for years. Yeah, ABC 15's Jason Valentine digging into why the valley is one of the only places you'll find them outside of their native Africa. Mixed into the valley's hustle and bustle, you might miss these busy little birds. We love them. They're so cute. Building their own bustling towns in the trees. We have palm trees, which are very like the same kind of trees that they live in in Africa. Greg Clark is an Arizona bird conservationist, and he's been tracking rosy-faced lovebird colonies on his website since the 90s. Colonies most likely started by two big lovebird releases, one, an aviary in Apache Junction. It got hit by a monsoon microburst, and it just destroyed the aviary and turned at least 100 lovebirds loose. Online, they're mistaken for escaped pets or parakeets because they just don't belong. In fact, just about anywhere else, these pint-sized parrots would die in the wild. But Phoenix is almost identical to their native Namibia, so they thrive. They are all over Scottsdale, all over central Phoenix, and now they're all over Ahwatukee. Technically, they are an invasive species, but they don't kill off the native birds. Of course, that's not to say their chatty gatherings are problem free. I'm glad that uh, they're not in our yard because there's a lot of poop in that driveway. Small price to pay for a peek at African parrots. Now, if you want to try to find parrots in your neighborhood, we have a link to that lovebird tracker on our website, abc15.com. And pro tip, if you're looking for them, they love sunflower seeds, although maybe not the sizzling bacon kind. I don't know. You can give it a try. Uh, Live probably, in Phoenix, I'm Jason Valentine, ABC 15, <laughs> Arizona. Probably skip the spicy ones. Jason, thanks.